Today's edition of Mac Voices is supported by Mac Voices Magazine, our free Flipboard magazine that brings you some of the best Mac, iPhone, and iPad productivity tips on the web. High in signal, low in noise, just like Mac Voices, Mac Voices Magazine includes information on how you can get more out of your Apple technology. Subscribe at macvoices.com slash magazine or search for Mac Voices Magazine on Flipboard. Mac Voices is in Las Vegas for CES. I'm Chuck Joyner. We're in the Sling booth talking to Dosu about what Sling is and what it brings to the video viewing market. Dosu, it's good to see you. Great to see you too. Thank you very much. The booth looks really busy and so you obviously are generating a lot of excitement. Tell us, give us a little bit of background about Sling first. All right, so Sling is a TV service um, built for, you know, the new generations. It's a service targeted towards cord cutters and people who've never had cable before. And there are also people who, who have cable but pick up Sling TV as a supplementary service. Um, it's basically a smaller package, a smaller bundle. Um, typically you pay $150 or $100 plus for 300 channels that you don't watch most of. But with Sling, you, you pay $20 a month, you get what we call the best of live TV package. That gives you a good blend of sports, news, family friendly content and shows. And it's all delivered over the internet. There's no contract, there's no installation. Um, you know, you can cancel at any point in time without any issues or any hassles. And we're available on devices that our customers already own or devices that users already own. Okay, so since you're delivering over the internet, obviously that means I have to have a reasonably fast internet connection. Well, not necessarily. We use adaptive bitrate streaming. That means that um, we're able to adjust the quality of your picture based on your internet connection. So if you have a weak signal, you can still get a decent picture quality, but as your internet connection gets stronger and stronger, you get a better picture on your TV or your, on your mobile device. Are you delivering the networks as well as specialized content? We do not deliver the networks today. Such content is available for free over the air. You just need an antenna to grab that. So let's talk about the devices we're watching this on. Obviously, I've got my big screen TV in my living room, but I've also got an iPad and in my, in my laptop or in my pocket. I've got a laptop, I've got an iPhone. And there are plenty of Android people out there as well. Yeah, so we launched the service with, you know, a few devices and we more than doubled that in less than a year. We support the Roku family of devices. We support the Android TV platform, but we also support the mobile platforms, phone and tablets for both iOS and Android. We're also on gaming consoles like the Xbox One and the Nvidia Shield, and we continue to add devices more and more as time goes on. And again, because you're delivering over the internet, that means I can watch pretty much my, my Sling subscription anywhere I want. Anywhere in the United States, you're able to just log in sign, and just keep watching, live or on demand. Now that's a great point, thank you. This is primarily US, and is it Canada, uh, Europe? Just the United States. Just U US, okay. All right, so that's a good background on Sling. What, uh, what is new at the show here? So new at the show, our focus this, this, this year is on content and bringing the content to the forefront of the service. And um, we've added some elements of personalization, so we're able to make the service very personal for you and make it easy for you to find content relevant to you to watch right away when you get on the service. Um, at the show, we also announced that we will be launching ESPN3, and we are the first service provider to actually integrate ESPN3 into our, our native experience, which means you can watch up to 30 live sport, sporting events on a Saturday, and it's all available through one channel on our Sling service. Um, another thing we're doing is we announced that there's no price hike this year. Our price stays the same at $20 a month. We launched with, you know, a little over 12, 13 channels last year at CES. And we've almost doubled that number of channels in your base package, but the price is still the same at $20 a month. You, you mentioned cord cutting. That seems to be, come, be becoming so popular. Um, it, it's great to see Sling delivering some of these things because that means we can get away from the cable companies as well as get the flexibility of watching where we want, when we want. Absolutely. And, and there are lots of people who are fed up of paying for you know, 300 channels when they don't watch all those channels. And, you know, it's a new trend. Um, there are a group of people that the cable companies cannot access today. Um, there are people who are cutting the cord and there are people who've never had the cord. And at $20, it's a very, very lucrative price point that delivers great value for people who want to experience that. Now, do you, am I, pet, am I, pet, am I purchasing all of those channels or can I just purchase subsets of those channels or individual channels? So our $20 price point gives you um, a package of 23 channels in your base and you can 
actually customize your package by getting some extras. Um, and so if you love sports, you can get a sports extra for as little as $5 a month and it gives you um, around seven extra sports channels. If you love you know, movies, you can get our Hollywood package. If you, love, if you have kids and they love kids shows, you can get a lot of kid-friendly content. So we have a lot of um, extras you can add on. And if you're international, we have um, some international language groups and some international um, packages that are available for anyone who is in the U.S. to subscribe to. Sounds like, sounds like it's something I need to go look at. Yeah, we have a seven-day free trial. I encourage everyone to sign up, sling.com slash CES. It's no obligation, no hassle. Um, try it, see if you like it, and would love to get any feedback from our users out there. Great. Thank you so much for the time. It's been a pleasure. Looking forward to more. Sounds good. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at CES. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.